Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be talking about femoral antiversion and retroversion. And what that basically means is that your thigh is twisted either inward or outward. Now, this has huge implications for foot, knee, hip, SI joint, back pain, sciatica. This is a really big deal, and I found that most practitioners don't even test for it. And if they are testing for it, they don't really understand how to use it to solve pain. All right, so what is femoral antiversion and retroversion? Well, they're scary sounding names, but it's really a simple idea. Not all thigh bones are shaped the same. Some thigh bones are rote twisted outward. That is femoral retroversion. Some thigh bones are twisted inward. That is femoral antiversion. That's all it means, is that you've got a twisted thigh bone either outward or inward. This is a very common problem that has huge implications for pain. In this video, we're gonna show you how to test for this, and then I'm creating two other videos to help you understand what to do if you have femoral antiversion or retroversion. How do we test for femoral antiversion and retroversion? Well, fortunately, it's really easy. All you have to do is you lie down on your stomach and bend your knees. And what you're going to do is you're gonna let your feet fall to the outside. Take note of the angle that your feet can fall to the outside. All right, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna straighten one of your legs and you're gonna let the other foot fall across midline towards the back of your other knee. Try not to let your pelvis twist and rotate to allow this to happen. And don't force anything. We're just seeing what your natural movement is. All right, so you're gonna note the angle that that's happening to. And you're gonna straighten that knee now and bend your other one. And you're gonna let that foot fall across midline towards the back of the other leg. Again, try not to let your pelvis rotate too much and don't force the movement. All we're doing again is just seeing what your natural, easy, less stressful movement pattern is. Okay, so here's how to interpret your results. Just a short break here. If you find this information useful and helpful, please subscribe and like this video. Also, most importantly, please share this video with other people who might be in pain because these concepts are real critical to solving chronic pain. How do we interpret this test? Well, if your feet move out much more than they move in, then that means that your thigh bone can internally rotate much more than it can externally rotate. That means that you likely have femoral antiversion, an internally rotated thigh bone. If your feet can move in much further than they can move out, then that means that your thigh bone is externally rotated and you have femoral retroversion. And if your feet are moving roughly the same in as out, then that means that you don't really have much twist going on at all in your thigh bone and it's fairly neutral. Now it's entirely possible that you can have one from one thigh bone that's femoral antiversion and the other thigh bone that is, has femoral retroversion. So be prepared for that finding as well. This information has huge implications for how we move, walk, play sports, exercise, all sorts of things, and it can create a lot of painful conditions. So if you look above here, you'll see that I've made a femoral antiversion video and a femoral retroversion video, depending on which of these conditions you found. So I'll see you in one of those videos next. Thanks for watching.